Hello everyone, it's Monica and welcome to my little craft space. This is where I create and you will have a little sneak peek uh, where everything happens. But today I'm going to talk to you about my card make of the year journey. I said that I will try to record this video and it took me quite a while because of course it's not easy to record uh, this type of video and um, and a bit shy as well so i was actually recording and recording and um yes i wasn't very happy with that so okay i hope that's the last take <laughs> anyway so uh card makeup of the year 2022 yes the win was unexpected and i actually didn't think about entering until my friend monica actually encouraged me to enter and i i did it i looked at that competition i had a look at the previous winners and i was looking at that as well for a few years and i was thinking it's never going to happen to me and anyway um i thought yeah to send free projects and not to get them back it's a bit uh, tough but i uh, was in, uh, encouraged and i'm so grateful for that and uh yes it happened to me so i only entered five days before the deadline so because i was thinking which project to pick what to send off and i was i really wanted to send my best projects meaning the ones i love the most meaning the fear of not getting them back was a bit too much to me so that's why i was hesitating and i was looking at my project and i was uh, i had two already um picked but i thought i love them and i don't know if i want to send them so the first one was this mixed media heart yes and uh, probably some of you might recognize that from uh, one of my video tutorials from last year from march i think i'm going to link that one at the end of the video so you can check it out if you haven't seen this already I've done it for my PMA craft challenge, which I hosted uh, last year. Uh, for the full year, I did a project every single month, starting with the first letter of a current month. So we could pick a sentiment, we could do, um, pick a medium or whatever we wanted with the first letter. So this one was mixed media for my ma um, month March. So uh, I picked this one as my one entry and this is of the page so this one is um, not a card project because you have to send two cards and two non-card uh, paper craft projects so that was the first one and then i had this uh, card i've done for for a dt project for relatively thoughtful a video tutorial for this one is also on my youtube channel if you want to check it out of course i'm going to link it um, at the end of the video both of those tutorials for the for the heart and for the dl card so that was my second which i already had uh had done and then i was thinking i don't have a third project and it took me a while to think what i wanted to do and because the one was mixed media the other one was mainly paper craft i thought uh, stenciling inking and um stamping would be another choice good choice to showcase that you i can do different uh, techniques and different projects so uh, not only paper craft so this one i actually done very similar for sherry simon craft um uh, for her i think giveaway challenge and i've done in a size five by five because she wanted something to put into her album like an humble album with inspirations so i really like the way i created that entry for sherry that i decided to take that inspiration and create a five by seven card so that's the card i've made for uh, as my third entry for the card maker of the year so three entries done send them off just five days before the deadline and then i was waiting i actually wasn't waiting because to be honest i i thought that it will take very long time to, for them to to go through all the projects and for the uh, through, to go through all the entries and i thought it would take at least two three weeks 
So uh, I didn't see any announcements uh, when they're going to uh, let the person or people or the winners know. So I wasn't expecting anything. And then one afternoon after work, I came home, picked up my youngest daughter from school and I was sitting having my tea waiting for my husband and my older um, daughter. And uh, I got a phone call, phone call, which I thought at first, for the first few seconds, I thought, no, I don't want to answer another phone call with another, I don't know, uh, insurance claim or something, because you get all those phone calls quite often. So I thought to myself, this is a time where I can have some peace and quiet, have my tea. And uh, I thought, not today. But then something happened and I actually answered that phone call and it was Nikki, Nikki Gilbert, um, the editor of a uh, creative stamping magazine and she said congratulations you are one of our four winners and uh, we are so pleased and she was talking about and I was like okay no it's it cannot be happening can you repeat that and she said it again that one I'm one of the winners and uh, I love she loves my samples and she was actually talking about this mixed media heart I uh, that she loves the layers she loves the uh, stenciling the uh, the splashes everything uh, she loves that project in particular and then she was talking about this card as well and I was like okay this is real this is real so um Yes, I wasn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like uh, smiling, uh, tears are were coming out of my eyes and I was like, uh, wow, it it's impossible. And then she said, yes, yes, you are the winner. I'm so happy. I love those, those phone calls and uh, this is the best time. And I enjoy uh, calling the winners um, to to hear uh, how they react to that, those, um, you know, massive news and she said that uh, okay in an hour or two another person is going to email you with some information with some uh, questions as well and then uh, Jenny another editor emailed me and asked me for a headshot some uh, questions uh, she had and um, then she said that I've got only 24 hours actually less than 24 hours because I had to reply to that email with all the information and the picture of myself by 4 p.m next day i think it was 4 p.m and then uh, because my husband was away that week and uh, i was like okay it's late it's dark I, I don't know if i can take a photo and i was trying it didn't work so next morning i asked one of my daughters to take a photo of me and i sent that email of course um the wait between uh hearing that um uh, you know having that uh, phone call from nikki and actually seeing it uh, in a magazine it took a few weeks few good weeks because i think that was uh, about 11 11th of may and that's another thing that uh, the deadline was the f uh, 5th of may and uh, i only they called me i think after a week after the deadline with the news that i'm one of the winners so that was really fast and i was like wow it's kind of impossible but then when we had the uh, winners experience day, they, they told us about the process, how they pick, uh, how they go through the entries and everything. So that made actually sense. So uh, I think that at the end of uh, May, I already, already received first email, congratulation email from Christine, Christine Cards and Things, uh, saying that she she's a subscriber to one of the magazines and she saw my uh, um, my uh, entries and she saw the announcement and she's she emailed me uh, such a wonderful email from Christine saying uh, that wow it's amazing uh, we are so proud and uh, then I got another information from um, Ashley and Monica and other people saying that wow well done Monica for, for actually uh, winning the competition uh, for having been one of the four we main winners so that was amazing and I remember we were uh, having a half term break in Southport uh, and we when I knew that that day they're going to release that uh, Simply Cards and Papercraft magazine so that's the magazine that's the first one 
Simply Cards and Paper Craft magazine issue 231. That was the first magazine which released um, information about the winners. So that's Lorraine. I've met her personally. That's me with that silly photo. <laughs> uh, Anne Marie here yeah, and Tracy. I've met Tracy as well. A fabulous uh, crafters are uh, Tracy and Lorraine. You are really awesome. I, I really love your work and it was so nice to meet you. Uh, I think we met in January, yes. We had that experience day at uh, Practical Publishing and Anne-Marie, unfortunately, she couldn't make it. So I only met Tracy and Lorraine, which was fantastic. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. So when that first magazine uh, at the end of beginning, end of March, May, beginning of June, uh, was released. Uh, then after that, all the prizes started to arrive. And there were so many prizes that I was running out of space. And yes, I don't have space anymore. And um, then uh, I remember Nikki saying that, okay, I hope you are uh, at good terms with your postman because uh, there will be a lot of uh, deliveries and there were actually a lot of deliveries. If you want to see what I received, um, there is a uh, playlist with a uh, card maker of the year uh, prizes uh, and you can watch them if you want to. I'm going to link them below the video so you can see. But this year they're going to have different prizes. Some of them will be maybe similar. So you can check again what kind of prizes, but there is a lot of boxes after boxes. <laughs> So if you want to enter, be prepared, consider that as well. So uh, the prices were arriving. I was getting emails from different uh, editors asking if I want to do certain commissions. And that's the thing that um, they sent you an email uh, with a, a sheet uh, which contains a brief. So which magazine, what kind of projects they want you to do, uh, how many of them, and is it a um, step-by-step uh, written tutorial or photo and written tutorial? Because it's a lot of work actually to, uh, to write everything down and you have to be mindful of how many words you're going to use because you don't want to write an essay. It has to fit in certain uh, space in the magazine, so you have to consider that as well. Of course, they edit everything and they uh, adjust uh, wording and stuff, so that's not a problem at all. And then uh, the brief uh, can actually say more about the color palette you need to use if they want you to use some heat embossing, uh, embossing folders or the, the, it can be very detailed, that brief. So you've got the time to actually go through the brief and uh, see if you want to do it or not. Uh, at the beginning, I was doing every single one of them and it was actually a lot of work. And uh, the deadline, some of them were quite short, like two weeks or five projects with reading step-by-step -step tutorials. That's uh, That can be hard if you're working full-time and you are, you are a mom as well. So you have to consider that as well. Of course, if you win and you're going to get those uh, commissions, you can say no. Of course, you can say no. Um, so it's not they not going to force you to do it. But this is a par um, part of the deal actually, and which was the most exciting for me because I didn't see, I didn't actually check what kind of prizes. I was so excited if I win, if that would be like a. I don't know, a miracle, uh, and, and I'm going to win. I was most excited about being part of a practical publishing design team. Uh, being contributor to magazines, I think that was the most, that was the thing I really was looking forward to. To be honest, I didn't use many of the prizes. I actually used quite a few only. Maybe I think I used the crayons. I didn't use any stamps. I didn't use any papers. I used only few because of the commissions. I didn't have that much time to, to use them. And But still, uh, I, will, I will eventually get to, uh, to use them all because of course, uh, work commissions and other design team projects as well, which I'm part of. So that's the another thing. So I want to show you my first commission, which I was so excited. This was a commission for, uh, for simply uh, uh, creative stamping. That was the first one, creative stamping magazine. Um, 
issue 113 and uh, this issue had beautiful stamps and uh, my product uh, was on the front cover over here and I loved working with those stamps and the brief was use white, red and a lot of heat embossing which I did. So the free project on here and another two on that side. So that was my first commission and I still remember how exciting it was to know that in a few weeks time your your project will feature in a magazine uh, with your silly photo as well. <laughs> so uh, that was my first one. I did other commissions for Paper Craft Society boxes, uh, Mental Health UK, Paper Craft Essential, uh, I'm looking at my list and other ones like Premium Magazine. I did Pink Fresh Studio as well. So there were quite a few of them and I'm still working. I actually got another two I have to finish. So that's a, a very exciting time. So from uh, actually from uh, the first commission I got straight after announcement. So that was uh, from Nikki uh, for Creative Stamping Magazine. And I did quite a few of those as well. So uh, yes, uh, next thing, so another uh, from, um, from June until December, I was doing quite a lot of commissions. And then December, uh, we got an email from Nikki saying that uh, they actually set a date for our winner's experience day, which is going to be on the 25th of uh, January. So um, yes, I was so excited uh, to hear that we're going to have a full day. We had uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We had a full day of fantastic things with, uh, with in Practica Publishing head headquarters. So uh, when I arrived, Nikki uh, welcomed me very warmly. And then uh, I met Lorraine who was already there and Tracy arrived a few minutes later. And we had fantastic day and then uh, Lou Collins came in as well and she said that she's going to spend a day with us. Unfortunately, Anne-Marie, she couldn't make it and she, uh, she wasn't present at that um, experience day. But we did some crafting. Uh, we used uh, Lou Collins' um, latest collection and we were creating cards and chatting and having coffee. And uh, yes, oh, they've done this beautiful wood display with our, uh, with our entries. Uh, we received, uh, every one of us received this beautiful frame with uh, our projects, uh, with uh, the uh, logo of uh, Card Maker of the Year 2022, with my name and all my projects. And we were having coffees in our Card Maker of the Year 2022 winner, Max. <laughs> So uh, it was fantastic to chat together, to um, to craft together, to talk about how it was for every single one of us, how we received that phone call, how uh, what kind of commissions we did, uh, what kind of uh, product we used from our prizes. I think it was Tracy who said that she used most of them, uh, which was all like, wow, how could you, you know, um, so yes that was really fantastic we had uh we went through the uh, full practical publishing uh headquarters and nikki introduced uh every single editor to us even the editors from softcraft uh, magazines as well we went to even um uh, finance department every single department you could you, we just went through the whole building which was amazing talking to people actually having some sneak peeks of every um, uh, magazines which they going to they are working on uh, we talked with other designers how they set up uh, magazines how long it takes to uh, to create a magazine it's apparently takes only 16 days so that was a very short time and uh, it was nice to see how uh, they um, uh, do a layout of every single page and how they work on those magazines so that was really amazing we had lunch and then after lunch we had um, uh, we had a photo shoot and we had uh, interviews with Lou Collins. So I think it was, and that interview is already on YouTube channel 
I think it's on a craft world YouTube channel. I'm going to link everything below the video so you can check it out. Uh, we had photos which they were actually featured in one of the magazines, Paper Craft Essential and other magazines. Uh, so this is the latest one I, I just picked randomly. And that's some photos and an uh, article about our day at Practica Publishing. Uh, the full article uh, I'm going to link um, below the video so you can read about our experience as well uh, because that was on craft world uh, so you can uh, you don't have to buy a magazine but probably some of you uh, uh, you have the magazines and we had a chat about um, how do they pick the winners because I was really interesting, uh, interested how they pick winners because, you know, they said there were uh, hundreds and hundreds of entries and I said, okay, so how do you pick the, that, you know, final four? Because it must be very hard. And Nikki said, yes, it is very hard. All the editors are coming uh, into this. We were actually sitting in that room where they uh, put all the entries in and uh, it's, it's a quite big room and uh, Nikki said that it, they had so many like hundreds and hundreds of entries and she said it is really hard every single year to uh, to pick that final four because the entries are one, amazing it's it's hard and what they do they select a certain amount of entries like a short list of uh, entries and then um, because I was thinking oh, that was my thought at the beginning before I even entered. They're not going to bother with my surname because it's very hard to pronounce. So if they're going to look at my um, name and they say, okay, we can't be bothered with her. But then when uh, I ask about how they win, uh, pick the winners, she said that uh, they select a certain amount of entries, the best entries. Uh, like I can't remember the number, 30, 50, and they uh, allocate um, a number uh, to a set of uh, like for example my three entries uh, were given number I don't know 12 and then no one could see the name of uh, of the person they could only see then uh, the number and they had like a whiteboard and all the numbers and editors were giving uh, points kind of points to a particular number so uh, I think the mm, the last entries when they had like a little square on a uh, on a table and with the number and the entries, that's how they did it. So I was I said to Nikki, okay, that's fine because yeah, even Nikki said it was very hard to learn how to pronounce my my, uh, my surname. So yes. Uh, that's um, how they pick the winners. They don't look at the, your name. They look at the entries only, the entries. So this is actually something which um, might might be useful for some of you to know. Uh, so yes, that's how they do it. So experience day uh, ended uh, actually in, uh, after the interviews with Lou Collins. We came back and we had a final chat and I, I, I couldn't believe that it's already after four and we have to go home because it was such a wonderful day. And uh, since then uh, we keep in touch with uh, Lorraine, with Tracy. We are on uh, Facebook and uh, from time to time we say, oh, it would be lovely to have the same day again because it was just fantastic and i think um i want to encourage every single one of you if you're thinking about entering a card maker of the year 2023 just go for it just go for it because you don't know what's going to happen and if you're going to be one of the winners i think it will be awesome for you so do not think about it. Think about uh, what kind of products you want to uh, showcase to uh, to editors and what kind of products you want to share with others. Maybe it's projects which you, like in my case, I loved so much that I was really hard for me to send them to them. Or maybe something uh, you, you've been doing for many, many years and uh, you are so proud of uh, that particular, I don't know, a card or something that you want to show it to others. Just go for it because it might change your life like it did to me because um, so many things happened last year 
uh, in September, I don't know if you know, uh, my social media, Facebook actually was hacked and because I had all the social media, Instagram connected with that, everything was lost and I thought without actually winning the competition and without support of uh, people on YouTube, I would probably just uh, gave up and uh, said, okay, I cannot go on any longer. Uh, and stop crafting but uh, that community of uh, crafty people I think it's fantastic and uh, yes it's so nice to see other people supporting uh, each other so uh, yes send it off I spoke to some of you and you are thinking about it and so just do it show them what you can do what you can create and uh, yes if it meant to be for you, it will happen. So do not think twice. Life is way too short to, to think uh, twice about something like this. Go for it. And if you're going to be one of the winners, let me know. <laughs> because it would be so fantastic. It's like I know um, uh, Ashley, uh, she won a card maker of the year 2021. And it's so nice to, to know someone who actually did it. And she's already she's still actually contributing to magazine so it's not only for ya yeah. if uh if they like your work they will continue sending you some commissions as well so yes it's a fantastic journey and i do recommend it to every single one of you and i wish you all the best uh and uh, he just just sit down, think about it, and uh, try to think about what would the, what would they like to see, maybe sometimes, or maybe uh, show them three different projects. Because when I looked at previous entries, I I always uh, have seen uh, like they actually they tell a story that is like a a set. Because mine were completely different. For example, mixed media heart. Uh, paper craft and stamping so you can see that there are three different techniques in in those three projects so maybe that's something that little tip i could give you try to show a variety of things you could do because that can maybe uh, show uh, them that you're capable of doing not only paper craft like clean and simple or maybe you can do some more stamping or maybe uh, stenciling or die cutting because you know die cutting essential uh, magazine they want us uh, people probably that's what i think it's my opinion only <laughs> they no one said anything about it uh, that they prefer to see uh people with uh which can actually do different type of uh techniques so think about that as well and do not be afraid just go for it so i think that's it remember that the closing day is the 25th of april i'm going to link the uh, entry form below the video as well if you don't have it uh, yet and uh, remember there are some terms and conditions you need to follow so you have to have two cards and one non-card project uh, it can be 3D, whatever you want, because as you can see uh, from other entries, uh, they had even MDF boxes, beautiful things. So um, uh, yeah, have some ideas and uh, just enter. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Um, check all the um, terms and conditions and uh, yeah, there are not many of them. And remember 25th of uh, April, that's the deadline. And as I said at the beginning, it took them only a week, just over a week, uh, to contact us. Uh, so yes, I think that's it. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Write me a comment or email me if you want to, if you prefer emailing. I'm going to link um, our interview with Luke Collins. I'm going to link uh, videos for both of those projects because there are projects which I did uh, done on my YouTube channel. I'm going to also link the uh, entry form 
and I think if I think of something else I will enter I will, I will put the link down below as well so I hope you enter and uh, have fun creating on your entries and enjoy the process so thank you so much for watching and if you want to see my craft corner too let me know okay so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in time in my next video bye for now